Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. Looks a little gloomy in the capital city as we're taking that live glance off to the north and west. Have had some uh, showers working through northeastern reaches of Dauphin County. So if you're heading out and you encounter some raindrops, don't be too shocked. And this is really the trend as our next storm system continues to move uh, eastbound. Had some lift across the valley ahead of the main cold front that has sparked up some of these. We can see those downpours on Super Doppler 8 in northeastern Dauphin County, up into southern and eastern Northumberland County, as well as a far western Schuylkill County with some more moisture on Super Doppler 8 out to the west and we're going to continue to see this cold front moving eastbound through the evening into the overnight and eventually sliding through the valley early Saturday morning. There's the front. It's slicing through the mountains as we speak into the west. We can see this circulation. That's the upper level low that's going to impact us as we progress through the remainder of the weekend into early next week. So staying a little gloomier, but not all that wet, not washouts of days ahead. Through the rest of the evening, we're expecting temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. You may hear a clap of thunder. It's not completely off the table with some instability out there, and that lingers through the overnight where widespread showers are on the docket with a few thunderstorms possible with lows around 60. And then tomorrow, after a wetter and gray start, the cold front is moving eastbound during the afternoon. We'll clear out some behind it, so expect a bit more sunshine and the breeze going to pick up as well, making things feel a little chillier with highs only in the mid to upper 60s. We're still in the 70s though, around 80 in a Carlisle and Gettysburg. You're at 81. We have 76 in York. It is 74 at both Lebanon and in Sealands Grove. Maybe you're getting out to Pennsboro for the Pumpkin Fest tomorrow. Not looking all that bad by the afternoon, but if you're heading out earlier in the day, you may want to have the uh, rain jacket and the umbrella just in case with temperatures around 66 with that breezy feel during the afternoon. Of course, we've been talking baseball, the ALDS down in Birdland, Camden Yards, going to be the place to be tomorrow with some showers around for first pitch, hopefully not impacting the game time tomorrow with temperatures around 70. Then we're back into the middle 60s for the seventh inning stretch as we're getting in on some of that clearing. Printer will show that, but we have to get through the rain first here. You can see some of those showers and rumbles through 9, 10 o'clock or so, and that continues through the overnight. The front, though, here it is. By around 6 to 8 in the morning, it's cruising through the uh, valley, and then eventually... By late morning, we're seeing that exiting off to the east, clearing behind it as we get more of that downslope west to northwesterly breeze becoming a little stronger. But then we start to focus on the upper level portion of, of that uh, system. That'll bring us a few more clouds into our uh, Sunday. Our New Day Storm Team 10 day forecast shows temperatures staying chilly below normal. Lows in the 40s as we head through Monday of this upcoming work week. We're back into the middle 60s Tuesday, and that really kicks off a bit of a warming trend. Nearly 70 Thursday, 70 on Friday ahead of our next system, which is going to bring some rain and it looks like Saturday of next weekend looks gray and wet with temperatures back in the 60s. Thank you, T.